Welcome guys, I am Parinita. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to receive regular notifications regarding the computer science topics and technical job updates. Hello guys, welcome to my channel to polish your CSE concepts with me. So let's get started. In today's video, we are going to see one very important topic of compiler that is DAG. Now DAG stands for Directed Acyclic Graph. So in this video, we are going to see what is DAG, what is Directed Acyclic Graph, why is it needed and we will also see couple of examples that if any three address code is given to us, then how can we draw DAG for them. Fine, we will cover all those things in this video. So let's start. First of all, we need to know that what is DAG. So DAG or Directed Acyclic Graph is a special kind of abstract syntax tree. So what they are telling that you must be aware about simple syntax tree. So this DAG is nothing new but it is a special kind of syntax tree. Now how the syntax tree, how simple abstract syntax tree and DAG are related, I will show you with the help of example also. Fine. Okay, the second point is it is known as DAG or directed acyclic graph. It is known as acyclic graph because there will be no cycle. So you should always remember that whenever any three address code is given to us and we are making DAG for that three address code, then you should always keep in mind that that DAG or that graph can never contain cycle. Fine. So this is one of the important points. The third point about DAG is, DAG is constructed for optimizing the basic block. So if the question is that why we are uh, making the DAG, what is the aim? So the aim is that when we want to optimize the basic block, means any basic block or three address code is given to us and we want to represent it in the most optimized way, then in case of such representation, we are going to draw DAG for that. Uh, fine. So these are some of the main points or important points about DAG that you must be knowing. Now, yes, after that we can start solving. So let's see with the help of example that if any such three address code is given to us, then how we can uh, make DAG for that. Now you must be aware about the uh, three address code. I hope you already know about the phases of compiler. If not, I will suggest you to go and watch my video of uh, phases of compiler because once you know the phases of compiler properly then all this will make proper sense to you you will get to know that why we are actually doing that actually what compilers are doing they are constructing three address code for all the code whenever we are writing any code in any language compiler compulsorily converts that code into any intermediate code or three address code and then only the further processing is done fine so what we want to do here is whenever any three address code is given to us, we want to represent it in the most optimized way possible and that can be done with the help of this directed acyclic graph. So let's see how to do that. For example, uh, a star b plus c is given to us. This is one of the three address code given to us. First of all, if I want to make syntax tree for this, syntax tree is simple. You must know that how we are drawing the syntax tree. Uh, in for example if i want to draw syntax tree for this how to draw, draw that uh, one thing we should remember is in syntax tree whenever we are parsing the syntax tree from bottom always the um, here we are having two operators star and plus so always the operator having maximum priority will come first from the bottom right so a star b plus c means uh, we know that out of multiplication and addition whose priority is more multiplication so from the bottom multiplication will come first so a star b first of all can be represented like this right then a star b then plus c so a star b plus we have to add it with what with c so this is the syntax tree for this intermediate code now if in case any two operands are repeated, for example, instead of this, if I am having a star b plus b, if I am having a star b plus b, then what will be the syntax tree? a star b plus b. Here instead of c, b will come. So this will become my syntax tree for this. Getting? If my intermediate code is a star b plus b and I want to draw the syntax tree, then this will be my syntax tree. But is it in its optimized way? Is this tree optimized? 
no because see here we are having two different notes for the same operand here b b same operand is there but we are making two different notes for that and so we can say that it is not optimized so if i want to make it optimized i have to draw dag that's why it is written that dag is nothing but a special kind of abstract syntax tree for optimizing the basic block so how with the help of dag i can optimize it a star b will be as it is and then plus b so what i want to do is i want to add this with what with b but b is already present so i will just connect or reuse this b got it so if a star b plus b is given and i want to make dag or directed acyclic graph for this this will be the directed acyclic graph and it is the optimized representation why because no node is repeated here b was there in our code two times so we have just reused that so this is the dag if we if this is the code given to you and you you want to make dag so this is the directed acyclic graph for this given code it is very simple similarly let's take one more example if this is the example given to you and you want to make dag for that how we can do that first of all x plus x star y plus x star y so first of all let's make for this x star y so x multiplication y then what they are doing plus x star y means this has been added added with what with again x plus y but this x plus y is already there with us so we will simply reuse that so i already got here x plus x star y plus x star y similarly a plus b a star b plus a star b so similarly a star b plus again a star b a star b plus a star b got it now in between these two in the code we are having minus sign so simply i can connect them with this minus sign i can connect them with subtraction sign so this is my dag simple i hope you have understood creating dag is very simple you just need to take more and more examples and you just need to practice more but i hope i have given you an overall idea what dag is in this video i have shown you with the example that how we can create dag what is dag and what is the main need of dag fine i hope uh, you like the video if you really like the video please like and leave a comment so that i would know please share it with your friends and if you are new to the channel please subscribe the channel and in case you have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section thank you so much